Hi, my name is Preston. And in this video, I want to show you how you can migrate your website from localhost to a live server on the internet. So in my last video, I gave you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can design a website offline. So in this one, I'm going to show you how you push it to the internet so that the world can access your website and interact with it. So before you do this, you must have done two things. One, you must have bought a domain name and a hosting plan. And the second thing is, you must have installed WordPress on your hosting plan. Of course, I've done some videos on this. I've done a video on how to buy a domain name and hosting plan. You can just click up here and watch that video. And also, another video on how to install WordPress in that hosting plan. So you can click up here and watch that video or check the description down below. You also see the link there. You can just click on it and watch how to buy a domain name and hosting plan. And then how to install WordPress on that hosting plan. So, without waste of time, I'll be going straight into this. Alright, so I'm going to teach you this in three steps. First thing you need to do is to install plugin. You're going to install this plugin on your local host and on your live server. The second thing is you are going to export your website from your local server. And then the third thing is to import it on your live server on the internet. Alright, so I will now go ahead and show you my website on the local host. So as you can see this, this was designed offline using WordPress. So you can see all of these things. I did them offline. It has this number of pages. So we are now going to log into our WordPress on the local host. You just type your domain name slash login and hit enter. So you wait for it to load. Uh, so put your username and password. Then click on login. So now this is your dashboard, WordPress dashboard. So you are going to click on plugins on add. You are going to install the plugin that will help you migrate your website now. The name of the plugin is WP Vivid Migration. So you just type it here and then look at it here. So click on install. Alright, then activate. So you are done. We can, we can simply go to auto migration, but we are going to use backup first so that we will back it up and then restore. So, as you can see, it will save to local uh, computer. So, now click on backup now. Wait for it to process. So as you can see, it is backing up 32% down. So now that we are done with the backup, just come down and click on download. Download that is the size. So, as you can see, our WordPress website is being downloaded to our local, our local computer. So, download is done. You can simply come to plugin and deactivate it or even delete it. Or, if you want to use it in the future, you can leave it there. So, deactivate. All right. So as you can see, that's what we activated. We are now moving to our live server. So my domain name is best in case too. As you can see it here. So look at the one on the local host. So we we'll now go and install plugin on our live server WordPress. So click on add new. 
and then type the name of the plot which is WP Divid Migration. So click on install now. And activate. So scroll down, click on upload. Then select the file. You can simply drag it and drop there. Select the file, click on open. Then click on upload. Wait for it to upload. As you can see, upload has been completed. Click on OK. So click on restore. Then click on restore again. Are you sure you want to continue? Click on OK. So it will start restoring now. The domain name on our local server is going to be replaced by the domain name on the internet. So we are still completed successfully. Click on OK. And then now you are going to use the login details on your local server. server. You are not going to use the ones on the on this domain name, bestencrypto.com. You are going to use the one on your local host. I'll copy the password and put then login. So let's check our website now. Come back here and refresh. So you can now see that my local site has been uploaded. It has been migrated successfully to the online server. So that is how simple it is. So as you can see, everything is live now on my domain name bestenkato.com. So that is it. If you have gotten value from this video, go ahead and like it. Subscribe to the channel and also click the notification button so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. On this channel, we talk about website design and some other tools that will help you grow your business on the internet and also make a lot of profit. So, I will see you in my next video. Bye.